and the projects she has listed for us over and over. We're going to be repeating them in this as the occasion goes on so that we have full idea of where she's heading and how everyone could be mobilized to help solve already identified problems. Uh, here in our midst, we still have people and groups that need to be recognized. We have lists of associations and other groups that are here present. One, on the first one on the list here is United Cameroonians. United Cameroonians is one of the associations invited to this occasion. And I'm here, I'm sure they are here. Please put your hands together for them. <laughs> Next is East Chester Presbyterian Church. <laughs> Next, Ndokwa Association in America, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut chapter. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> we have Allied Nursing School students, class of 2010. Put your hands together for them. We also have Cameroon youths in New York City. Put your hands together for them. We have family members from Texas states and Maryland states here in the U.S. Precisely for Kunla family. For Kunla family, you are present here. Thank you for coming. All right. Uh, we know we have mentioned individuals, we mentioned associations. Uh, it's not possible, or with time, we keep identifying any other organization that is here present. And for individuals, of course, it's not going to be easy listing you, listing your names one after the other. But uh, we are welcoming you and assuring you that your presence here is highly appreciated. We thank you for coming. Wherever you are, you are the chairman of that place. You are the secretary of that place. Wherever it takes. In fact, we are here together. And in this shift, we shall stir it together to a logical conclusion that give us all the things we need to achieve as the program moves on. Please put your hands together for every single individual present here. All right. Uh, in our program, the next thing here is dinner, networking, and music. Actually, we know that uh, some people have been here since 7 p.m., and then we are, uh, we've been doing all we can to keep them, uh, to lessen the tension and the, uh, appreciate their, their, their patience in waiting for us. So at this point in time, we are going to make sure that uh, food is served, everyone eats and then feel comfortable as the program moves on. I greet you all. And the rest of us, Nigerians, Cameroonians, Ghanaians, Togolians, Jamaicans, and all that are coming, and all that are here, I say thank you for coming. Um, I know we expected more people, because I asked them and I said, um, I asked somebody and I said, I know I have a lot of people from Cameroon. And I have them as clients also. But I said, how is their timing? <laughs> and the person said to me, are they not Africans? <laughs> and I said, of course, African time. So I know they are still on their way. Because uh, if you invite them for 8 o'clock, they don't show up until 1 o'clock. Because they know they're going to stay till 2 a.m. But for the rest of us, we keep the light shining until they all come in. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I know the MC, the Honorable MC has been doing this job very well. And I'm going to take care of some of the uh, points in here. We have to know why we are here today. And I know we know why we are here today. And I will just um, give a little history about how I, I came to know our lovely sister. Could you come up a little bit, please? Come up here. Marie.
We all know her, and that's why we all gathered today. And if you can just give her a hand of applause, please. And, um, Marie, when you came to our church and you introduced your book, I was floored. I was floored because I look at the age of this woman. I didn't know, I know you're like 25 years old, right? Then I know she's young. And when she, not only she brought the book to us, she spoke to the whole congregation. Some of them, they were crying. Some of them were a little bit quiet. And some of them reacted in different ways, but I know that your book touched them. And when you came, you came with two books. And that was volume one and volume two. And today you went forward and you did volume three. Give her a hand of applause. Because I know when I listen to the chairman, chairman, you said that a lot of them can't even write their, you know, when they give them <laughs> 10 paper to write, they're looking for somebody to help them to write it. And then here, this young woman, and when we're talking about pages, we're not talking about pages that they just write, big letters and they only, some of them, I have seen books. If you divide this book into five, into five, that's one of their books. But here she have the ability to write three books. So I commend you for that. And I know that you don't even know what God has appointed you to do. You're just scratching the surface. And I know that greater things will you all do. You hear me? Give her a hand of applause. So, I will just tell you that we all have gathered today to show our appreciation. We are not here to eat jollof rice and a little wine or water in our faces. We are here to celebrate what you have done for the young and for the old. Okay? And you have become an example to so many people. Okay? So because I will, I'm not just speaking about this book because you just brought it to my face. I read it. Okay? I read it because I know this book touched me in the sense that some of the things she mentioned here, I experienced growing up also. Because you know in, a, in, a, in Africa, if you are light skin, you are in trouble. You are dark skin, you are in trouble. You are dark, you are tall, you are in trouble. You, whatever you are, they will always find a way to criticize or say things to, about you. So your book has helped me. And I know it has helped other people, and it will continue to help this generation and generations to come. Okay? So that's why we are here tonight. Okay. Like the chairman said, the, the name on this book is very unique. Because some people will borrow names, and but this is the first time I'm seeing a book that says first levels. The first time. And you are wise and intelligent enough to have chosen that name. Because it catches the attention of people. Because they wanted to know, oh, what's levels? First, you know? So the name of the book caught my attention and all the facts that are in it has made so much meaning to me. And I will say that God will continue to use you to reach out to people. Okay? Amen. Okay, back to the rest of us. Hello, brothers and sisters. And those are, see if there are people on the other side to bring them in, please. Because this is a time for serious business. If I begin to count the numbers of people in this room, I know we are more than 100. 
And because we are more than that, we're going to be able to do something. Because I know for a fact that where we are tonight cost a lot of money. When I came in, I said, what's that light flashing? I've not seen it before. And I know that costs money also. And I see this young man in my face. <laughs> Video with me, that costs money. And I saw the food and the drink, and I know all these things to cost money. And because of that, we're going to at least help our sister tonight. Not only are we going to buy the book, but we're going to at least buy it and bless somebody. Okay? We buy the book for ourselves. We buy two other books to bless somebody. And while we are doing that, we have to remember that a lot of money and effort went in to bring us in here tonight. Okay? And it looks like everybody is too quiet. Okay. Let me read something about one of her books that really touched me also. Um, let me see. I think it's in volume one. She says, throughout life, people are constantly putting us down with their great three words. It's just like they are sticking a label on us. Examples, they say, too short, too old, too tall, too slow, too many mistakes, not talented enough, can never amount to anything, can never do anything right, etc., etc. And we know that each and every one of us has been touched by this. So that's why we are all here tonight. We are here tonight to move this message forward. To move it forward in the sense that when we get these books, we are not just getting one for ourselves. We are getting, because she has volume one, volume two, volume three. So as we get the books, we make sure we get all the volumes and at the same time, we buy other books to bless somebody outside. If you guys agree with me, give me a hand of applause, please. Because I want to make sure that everyone, if you don't have all the funds, we take rent checks. Don't we take rent checks? If I have remembered, I would have bring my eight, uh, my uh, ATM machines here, you know, <laughs> or my um, credit card machine. You have what driver's license <laughs> to get the money? <laughs> okay, we're not trying to scare anybody, but please, we have just come today to celebrate this and to make our sister happy reach deep inside your pocket and let's bless her. I'm employing you because I know she put so much to bring this together. I know sometimes we Africans, we don't want to hear launching book. We like everything free. So I know for all of you that are here, I respect every one of you because you know why you are here and you decided to come. Some of them only want to come when everything is free. Food is free, drink is free, dancing is free. But for those of you that knew what you were coming in here tonight and you decided to come, I am very proud of you all. Give yourself a hand of applause, please. So I have to move the program and I have to officially introduce the book launch by Chief Launches, and of course, he's looking handsome, and the wife is looking gorgeous. And they may, uh, please pardon me if I don't get the name right, okay? 
If I have to spell it them, I will spell it out very well, okay? So they are all the person done. Mr. and Mrs. Conte. Give them a hand of applause, please. Good evening, everyone. It's a blessing to be here tonight. Um, when my wife told me we're coming here tonight, she told me this a week ago, and usually I'm not in tune with the family calendar. <laughs> so I, I apologize to her. Um, but I'm happy to be here. Um, the cause that we're here tonight for is very important. And I, as a married man now, um, I'm always impressed by um, what I see my wife doing at home. Um, it always reminds me that it's the, whole, the old saying that when you educate a woman, you educate, you educate a village, you educate the world. And I, I started thinking about what to say tonight, but when I heard the chairman speak, I was very impressed. And he said most of the things I wanted to say tonight. And one of them was that I am one of those that when it comes to term papers, it took me a long time. It took me a long time to come up with a paragraph. So I, I, I salute you, Marie. I salute the cause, and I'm happy to be here tonight. And I introduce my wife, my beautiful wife. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you, thank you, Marie, for inviting us. Um, Madam Fundraiser, you forgot Sierra Leone, but with your pardon. <laughs> Um, my husband and I are from Sierra Leone in West Africa, and um, we join the Cameroonians, the Togolese um, family, Senegal, the whole world. Um, as he spoke and said earlier, I do believe in education, and um, I believe in health, loving, living in a healthy manner. But um, Marie Claire's book took me in another challenge, a challenge for educating our youth not only with a needle or hanging a drip or prescribing a medication but teaching them and i am very touched i'm very humble by this experience and i launched today um, i cannot write a check in yen or a euro dollar or leones or american dollars like a chairperson said, search your soul. And I sat with my colleague, my fellow um, high table member. I said, oh, do you announce your number? I'm a bit discreet when it comes to things. But then he touched the point, search your soul. What is the purpose for this? It's not only for children in Togo, but from Sierra Leone, or in Harlem, or just out here in the Bronx looking at false labels and see how we were labeled, I was labeled, and I continue to be labeled, but how would this help you? I am not the, per the person in charge, the fundraiser co uh, coordinator who would tell and go and get this out. But with all respect, with God, with love, follow your heart, follow your spirit, search your soul. It's a purpose for our girls, a purpose for our children. So my husband and I, Marie, we salute you. I love your purpose. I'm not only going to take this when I see my, um, my patients. Uh, that's not. I'm going to take this for them, educating their children, telling them and reminding in the minutes I have with them on my child or my son at home, my daughter. So I salute you with respect. And we start. I may not open up. I'm just going to say I search my soul very deeply. Oh, we searched our souls. And um, we take this to the village. We want this to help children in Africa. Please, search deeply, love happily, leave healthily. I thank you, congratulations.